Hello everyone, welcome you all to Dr. Rohini's 3, a channel dedicated to women's health. In my last video, I had uh, given you all the details about what is a normal menstrual cycle and uh, why it is irregular in a young girl. All those details I had given in my last video. Today, let us try to understand in those young girls what is considered as abnormal and when a mother has to take her to a doctor and what could be the reasons for all these uh, uh, abnormal uh, cycles. Uh, a normal menstrual cycle in a young girl could range from 21 days to 45 days. If, a, if she gets a periods frequently uh, ev less than every 21 days, is abnormal. Or if she gets a periods, if she doesn't get a periods even beyond 45 days, then also it is considered as abnormal. And then the mother has mother has to cons really consult a doctor. Um, and also if the bleeding, the, no uh, the duration of the bleeding, the normal duration of the bleeding is con is uh, seven days so if she is, is having bleeding for more than seven days every month then she has to definitely meet a doctor and uh, if she's changing her pads uh, within two hours uh, or in one hour every time then it means she's having a heavy bleeding that is also a warning sign and if she is uh, passing clots having small clots is okay but if this, if you feel that her clot size is more than an inch then that also indicates that she is having heavy bleeding which is considered abnormal and if she has her uh, uh, if she has to change her pads even when she is sleeping if she has to get up from her sleep and if she has to change the pads then it is also not normal and if she is if her uh, dress is getting soaked or if she is uh, um, the, if the bed sheet everything is getting soaked when she is sleeping at night then that is also considered as abnormal and if she changes more than six or seven pads in a day then that is also considered as abnormal and if she is having heavy bleeding then she will start feeling you know like tired fatigue dizzy and she may not be interested to attain her day to day regular activities she may not get interest to attend the school all these things can happen because uh, if because of anemia so even that situation also it indicates that she is having heavy bleeding and sometimes even after getting a period even if the first after first period if she doesn't get her next period for next three next uh, three or four months then also it is considered as abnormal and then she has to approach a doctor and sometimes even if her uh, periods are regular she may get her periods uh, she may get bleeding in between her regular periods that is called as intermenstrual bleeding then also it is considered as abnormal then also she has to approach a doctor sometimes what happens uh, some kids if they have any bleeding disorder uh, then even with her first period she can have a heavy bleeding and it may not stop or uh, she may have some uh, si signs like bleeding from the gums or bleeding from the nose or if she has any small injuries when she is playing there may be difficulty to stop the bleeding so these are all the indications that that she may have a bleeding disorder then also it is considered as abnormal so these are all the re these are all the uh, uh, warning signs when a mother has to think of taking her daughter to a do uh, to a doctor well, there are multiple reasons for such uh, abnormal bleeding in a girl one of the most common and which we are really seeing uh, day in and day out in this generation is pcod that is polycystic ovarian syndrome which is very common nowadays i'll i'll talk about this uh, in detail in my uh, coming videos uh, in future the other common cause could be a thyroid disorder any problem with the thyroid also can have can cause these bleeding abnormalities in children and sometimes there may be ovarian cyst uh, which can cause uh, the hormonal imbalance and can cause these problems sometimes there may be fibroids in the uterus or polyps endometrial polyps these uh, fibroids and polyps are rare in this uh, age group but still we have to sometimes rule out uh, these causes and uh, even sometimes the stress excessive stress on children or even obesity or even mal malnutrition even obesity also can cause hormonal imbalance and even uh, a malnutrition also can cause this hormonal imbalance which can cause this problem sometimes excessive exercise which we see among the athletes even those uh, uh, kids, children also can have hormonal imbalance. Sometimes the kids will be taking some medications like aspirin, anticoagulants, 
or platelet inhibitors or sometimes antipsychotics and, and antidepressants so these medications can also have some imbalance can cause some imbalance in these hormones and can cause this bleeding problems sometimes there can be any problem in the brain something called as prolactinoma which also can cause irregular periods and sometimes any problem in the chronic diseases in the liver or kidney also can cause these problems sometimes some problem like thalassemia or any bleeding disorder in the children like von willebrand's disease or hemophilia which are you know hereditary so these pro these diseases also can cause uh, abnormal bleeding and excessive bleeding in children sometimes this will be detected for the first time when the dot when the cave when the child gets a first period till then sometimes it will not it will not be even detected also so all these uh, can be the reasons and sometimes the eating disorders like uh, bulimia Uh, bulimia nervosa anorexia nervosa all these old problems also can cause uh, bleeding disorders in the children and sometimes the kids are taking steroid hormones for any reasons even that also can cause these all this uh, bleeding problems in the children so these are all the conditions so when you go to the uh, doctor the doctor may uh, do some checkup and blood tests and ultrasound which are required uh, to find out what exactly is the reason for this abnormal bleeding and uh, to give a proper treatment we need to do all these things i think for today all this information in, is enough uh, take care namaste If you like these videos please like comment and share and for more updates on women's health please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the notification bell